this September, I've spoken about retirement. I know that if you're 30 and you're listening to this, you're like, oh, don't have to think about that yet. That is oodles away. Let me tell you from my own experience, man, it absolutely creeps up fast. It really does creep up fast. So it is something you don't want to be leaving until the last minute because then you don't have choices. You don't have choices. So planning for retirement is playing the long game. Creating wealth is playing the long game. Just going to throw in here, guys, that I'm not a financial planner and you are welcome to speak to your own financial crew, your accountants and planners before you take any action based on the back of this little presentation. But let's talk about playing the long game. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. As the famous shampoo ad said, it won't happen overnight. There are certain strategies you can apply to hasten is that the word? Hasten the growth to get faster for this to happen sooner. And last week, if you missed it, guys, go back and find last week where I talk about leapfrogging to retirement. So if you don't have time up your sleeve, what you can do to get there faster. So playing the long game, it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. So don't be impatient for it. Oh, my goodness, we're in a world of impatience, especially amongst the young who think, OK, I'm going to do this and enjoy my time and travel and Come around and have a beautiful life and then oh now I've only got 15 years until I'm 50 oh now I need to put my foot down well yes you do and you possibly should have put your foot down in those early years when somebody is between 20 and 30 and 20 and 35 I believe that they have the most amazing opportunity in those years to actually get going, to create wealth, to aim for retirement, to set themselves up right then. Most don't have overhanging mortgages overhanging their heads. Most do not have children and a relationship where, you know, a partnership has dropped down to one wage. And most um, have got all the time in the world. Like there's 24 hours in a day. And if there's two of you and you're working towards the one outcome with 24 hours in a day, you can you can absolutely achieve a lot. So if you've got the chance, start early. Then you have the time to make really good decisions with patience and research, patience and proper due diligence. Because you can do research like back of the envelope style just to get into it. And I do a lot of my stuff back of the envelope style. I call it like five or 10 minute. If this sells for this, or if I can buy this for that, and it's going to cost me this much to build or to renovate, is there margin for profit straight away? I'll say yes or no. And then I'll go and do some more detailed feasibilities afterwards. But the reason I put there the two types of research back of the envelope and detail is that some people get stuck in the detail. So when you're playing the long game, you do have time to, to, with patience and research, to really take a good look at these properties, but please don't get stuck in the detail. So many people get stuck in the detail. Once I uh, went to New Zealand years ago, and I might, you might have heard this story before, but there was a whole busload of people. We were all ready to buy. We were financed, ready to go, and the properties were cheap and the rental yields were fabulous. So there was no reason not to pick these properties and just say, yes, we'll take one. There was a lady on that bus who did deep due diligence on every single property that she came across. By the end of that week, husband and I, we'd bought four. We're just like, okay, that looks great. Bang, that one, that one, that one, that one, pest and building inspection, off we went. She never, ever got past that research stage to buy a property. So please don't get stuck in the weeds. Don't get lost in the mud. Don't stay in there forever. If you're a detailed person, this might be something that you have to work on. Alternatively, if you're a little bit more like me, who just doesn't care about the detail, I have to be careful and people like me have to be careful that we do take the time, take a breath, get into the numbers so that we really know at the back end, it truly is a good deal worth pursuing. Because rush decisions lead to regret, dud investments. And what's happening right now with the FOMO going on, fear of missing out, is a lot of people are running around buying properties that are dud properties, traditionally have been duds. And when this market cools down again, they'll be duds again. So be really careful not to rush into buying a property that you're going to regret in four or five or six years time when everything starts to settle down again into its ordinary property rhythm, if there's such a thing.
All right, guys, here's some weird stuff. If you've worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you've worked with me at a higher level, you'll know I'm into this a little bit. Part of it, I think, about not getting started and not thinking about our retirement and not being willing to have a crack is not allowing ourselves to accept abundance into our lives. So allow yourself to accept more money. Money is freedom. Money gives you choice. Allow yourself. You're deserving and you're worth it. And a lot of people will do everything they can without even realizing what's going on to push back on opportunity. If you see opportunity, to fly, go run with that opportunity. Spinning the wheels, like mucking around, doing the research forever, all that kind of stuff, that is not planning. It's not actually planning. You're not actually getting anywhere. It might make you feel good in the moment because you think you're working towards something. You can spin the wheels for a long, long time. It's not planning and it's not making progress. It's just playing games with your mind justifying where your energy and your time is going without actually getting there. And I truly believe that the universe recognizes it. The universe knows you're just dabbling. And energetically, it knows when you are playing for real. When you start to play for real, things start showing up in front of you because you're actively seeking things and you're moving and you're talking to people and you're networking and like you're making this stuff happening happen for you. But because like you're in it for real. You've made that decision that I'm going to get going and that these are my goals and I'm going to pursue my goals. And I really do think it's a game changer, guys. Once you really decide to play for real and you put your foot down and you do so with intent, it makes all the difference in the world. So use the time to get going. You want your money multiplying itself or compounding, they call it, in, financial, in the financial world. You really want your money working for you. So you've got a certain amount of one, money, like you might earn a wage, you've got one lot of money, one hour produces this amount of money. The goal is to get that money working for itself, like compounding, multiplying itself. So you invest that amount of money in something and it comes back with interest or some kind of profit. And then you own that much. And then that much comes back with interest and profit. And it grows and that much comes back with interest and profit. So Use the time to get going. You have got time between now and retirement. If you're running short, you're going to have to do something more drastic. But if you've got the time, then start focusing on wealth creation education today. Today, not next week, not, oh, I've seen this course I might do, perhaps, you know, maybe. I'm not sure if I put this amount of money in. Will I get my money back? How soon will I get my money back? Forget that, guys. If you're playing for real, you're playing for real. The universe knows it. Focus on wealth creation education today. Grow your portfolio. Grow your property. Grow your property wealth. Learn how to do it. Learn how to keep money in your pocket as much as you can. Learn how to use the bank's money. Learn how to do JVs. Learn about investments and shares. Like all of your money, you shouldn't have money sitting in the bank doing nothing. You shouldn't have equity in your home doing nothing either. Add another income stream. Guys, there's lots of time in the day. There's lots of time at night time. If you lose one job and it's all you have, it's absolutely crushing and heartbreaking. But if you have another income stream, it's not so bad. Think about your talents. Add another income stream. Think about what your superannuation is going to provide you. Um, think about getting an SMSF up and running if you've if you've got the energy to do that, and I can't see why you wouldn't, it's just a matter of reaching out to your accountant and saying, hey, I've got all of this superannuation. It is not creating the returns that I really want it to create. What can I do? And, and your accountant will take you through how to set up an SMSF and they're amazing tools for buying property inside of that's outside what you're doing in your personal worlds. Great. They're just just another tool of uh, wealth creation. You can, you're in charge of this, guys. You're in charge of your own retirement. If you get to retirement and you don't have enough to live on and you think far out, you know, like, woe is me, I never earned enough. It's actually all the decisions that you've made along the way to that point have led you to where you are financially and where you are personally at that particular time. All of your own decisions and choices. Nobody else's. So make, you know, if you've got time up your sleeve, 
get cracking guys. Live on less than you earn and invest the rest. Take your money seriously. Use your time wisely. Don't be lazy. <laughs> Don't be lazy. I just came off the back of a training and inside that training, we were asked what we had set up for the next month. And I could rattle off five things, like five things that were going to increase my income, five things that were going to increase my brand awareness, five things that were going to deliver better opportunity for my students, for my current students, like five things. And there were people in that group and we met last week who were just sitting there scratching to try and find something that they'd done in that one week. Like a week is a long time. A week is seven days, not five, not Monday to Friday, guys. You have seven days. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't get back to sleep, there's nothing wrong with doing something productive then, particularly if you work for yourself, you have that luxury and you can have a little snooze the next afternoon. Like use your time wisely all of the time. Sound like a teacher, don't I? Okay, so consider new income streams. If you're heading towards retirement, don't think that that's it. Like don't think, oh, okay, when I stop working, that's it then that's the end of my ability to earn an income. That is not true. So you can generate income from your life experiences in some kind of consultancy. Consultancy, outsourcing your um, knowledge, your expertise. You may have learned that stuff from inside a corporate world or just your own life skills. You can outsource your consultancy knowledge at between 50 to 200 an hour and beyond that to, you know, like, Oh, really infinity it really is you can just when you start to package up products and stuff like that you can charge a lot right so let's talk about that you can generate from your life experiences so take a look at what you already have inside of you what you're capable of what you can bring to the world how you can help somebody else how somebody else might be willing to pay you for what you know and they don't know how you can take them in a, in a time period from a to b and then B to D and then D onwards, like all the way to Z in a short amount of time because that's valuable to people and they will pay for that experience. They'll pay to lean on your experience to get them to where they want to go much faster. So you've got the time and the funds to get a new venture going. Typically, as you're nearing retirement, hopefully you've got some money to pay, play with that you should either be investing in your own education to improve and grow or investing in some kind of business to bring in a new income stream. You've got time, you've got funds, especially if you're that in-between stage where, you know, you're, you're old, your kids are starting to get older, but you don't yet have grandbubbies. So you really do have the time. Cash flow from investment property due to low interest rates and good growth. It is an amazing time to have property in the marketplace. An amazing time. Cash flow from investment property due to low interest rates. It is a good time to invest, guys. The interest rates are low. Your um, returns, your rental returns are getting pretty decent. You know, there's good growth. And you know what I'm like with property. If you can improve the value of it as well through renovation, um, even even better. Obviously, my picks are renovations. I just think they assist, a renovation will assist to pay down your current debt or accumulate more profits fast, not more debt, accumulate more profits uh, fast. And if you've missed it last week's, go back and have a look at the Leapfrog video, talks about how to get to retirement faster if you feel like you've been lagging behind. So that's today's live, guys. If you haven't already, come and register for Saturday's training. I've got an hour and a half training on renovating. I give details of what students are doing right now, some of their results. I, there's just this one golden opportunity in the market I'd really like you to know about. It's just an amazing type of property to buy that has just fabulous you know, margin for profit, like it's just sitting there waiting for people. And a lot of people haven't identified that that's the property that they should be looking for. So come and join me on Saturday morning. I'm going to pop a link in the comments so that you can register for that event. Like I said, subscribe to the Renovate and Real Estate YouTube channel and you can catch up on all my videos there. Cheers, guys. Have a beautiful day.